so our first step is to create a TronLink wallet. Therefore, we just go to Google and type in TronLink and click on the second link called tronlink.org. We open it and now you can decide on which device you would like to download it. You see Android, iOS or browser extension. I'm on the computer so I choose the browser extension in this case for the Chrome Web Store, but you can also use it with Firefox. We click on Add Extension and wait a second until it's downloaded, and now it appears on the right above corner. We click on the puzzle and pin TronLink. I recommend that because then you can always open the wallet very fast. We click on Create Wallet, then we read this and click on Agree. In the next step, we can choose the wallet name. In my case, I just named my wallet Test Wallet. And now we chose a password, and with this, you will always be able to log into your account from this particular device. We will click on Create a Wallet, and now it's very important to create a backup wallet. To be able to do this, we have to type in our password. We click on Backup again, and it already says that it is very important that you write down the following words, because the following words are the words which you are able to log into your wallet every other time again. So from every other device around the world, you are able to log into your wallet only with these 12 words. The password is only for this particular device you are currently using. So make sure to write down these 12 following words. Now they are shown here, so I will write it down and I'll be back in a second. So now I did it and the following task is to click the words in the right order. So here it says number 11. We look back what we wrote down and choose the word which was on position 11. In this case, it's this word. So now, you just keep on doing this. Number 9 and number 4, and we click on Done. We finished with the first step. Everything is created, and we move on with the next step. After you've created a wallet, you can now send your Tron to the wallet. You can buy Tron as an example at Binance or Bitpanda, but in case you need help for that, just ask the person who told you about SocialSwap. So after you bought your Tron and sent it to your wallet like I did a few seconds ago, it will be shown right here. So now, you can open SocialSwap by copying the link from the person who told you about SocialSwap. You open it right here and now you're asked to confirm your wallet so you can click on Connect right here. And then you confirm that this person told you about SocialSwap. We wait a second, click on Swap and now everything is done. Now, you can buy your social swap token, so you just choose SST right here, and we will now swap 100 Tron in SST. We click on Swap, sign it, and we wait a few seconds and open the TronLink wallet. It is possible that the social swap token don't show up right here. Don't panic, this is normal. You have to click on the plus right here where you can also see a small one. And if you click this, you see under New Assets, Social Swap Tokens and by clicking plus, it will be shown right here. So maybe it can be possible that social swap isn't shown here on the first page. If it's like this, you just type in social swap here and then it will be definitely show up. So we go back to the main menu and now you can see your Tron and your social swap token. So after you swapped your Tron to social swap token, we can now go into the staking. We choose the SST auto pool, which makes the most sense because you have the highest APY, and we choose all the SST to go into the staking. Click on Stake, confirm it once, and after you did this and reload the website, you can see your social swap token working for you and making money for you.